habits define futures until they don't. Part two. Hi, I'm Allie Beerman. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Last week I was talking about how your habits are reflecting what goes on in your belief system. And whatever you're believing, create the thoughts, create the emotions, create the behaviors you choose to do. So, what can you do to change all that? So that your life will stop being a mess, so you can get unstuck, so you can finally live the life you want to live? All of the above. So, two habits that most people have and I'd say 100% of people who stay stuck have these habits. Number one, not doing. You have the habit of not doing what you know is good for you. You have the habit of not completing tasks that you know will move you into a different place. Well, it's easy to break that habit. You just decide you're going to have a different behavior in that circumstance. Let me give you a for instance. I go to a book club. It's a book club, right? Only, interestingly, someone brings a bait. Someone brings a baked item. <laughs> and they start off before we start talking about the book by sharing this baked item. Well, it's always something made of white flour, wheat, white flour with sugar and probably coloring. And uh, I wouldn't go near it. And what's really weird is some of the other people who are eating it and gobbling it up. I mean, like they're making sure they get every crumb and if there's icing, making sure their plate's clean. And then they say to me, wow, you have some willpower to not eat that. It's like, it has nothing to do with willpower. I know how cruddy I'd feel if I ate that to me. That's rat poison. That was a simple choice for me to make. And I'm absolutely not tempted by I know what's not going to be good for me. And the same thing happens in behaviors in my life. If I know they're going to leave me feeling any way other than good, why the heck would I do them? Why do you do them? Why don't you do? Take the steps you know to take. So you can feel better. Now the other main habit that most people who are stuck have is reacting to things. So you have a stimulus in your environment and what happens is instead of stepping back and thinking what should I do now? What can I do? What are my options open to me? You jump right back into your subconscious mind. You look for a similar situation and you draw out the behavior that you did last time through the similar situation. Well, of course you're going to stay stuck. So what are you going to do this week to break the habit of not doing and to break the habit of reacting instead of living in the present moment? I should go down there and tell us. More importantly, take those action steps. Your life will change. It will change dramatically. And best of all, it will change instantly. Again, I'm Allie Beerman. You'll find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.